So this is a part two video in discharging the solid state lithium at a rate of 2C. So in this video here, uh, we're going to go past the uh, limit that the CAN has sent to the Victron inverter. And we're going to show you that now. So you can see here now that there's no modules blocking charge or blocking discharge. It's at three amps. You can see the cell voltages of 5759. So an alert goes off at 60, uh, and then there's a hard stop at 65. Uh, but the, uh, what we're going to do now is go into the Victron system now, and on the CAN command uh, uh, feature is uh, turn off the feature that stops the inverter, which is stopped now uh, because of that. And Victron call that DBCC distributed voltage and current control, and we just turn that off. And it's now not sending out that com CAN command uh, to the battery. And so we go back in now and we uh, start the inverter off, turn it off, turn it on, and start it back up again. Uh, you see now the inverter now uh, is started and we're now going to ramp that current up and just have a look at the temperatures and the cell voltages there while we do this. So we're down to three amp hours. Uh, we still have the module online, which means that the relay in the unit, the MOSFETs have not turned off in the battery. All that's happened is it's told the inverter not to run anymore. So we're going to ramp that up a bit and uh, get it up. And of course, because the voltage is, is dropping, the current then goes uh, quite high. So one of the issues we've got here controlling it is at the similar level, we're doing 106 amps. The limit on the BMS is uh, 110. And so uh, let's see how far we can uh, run here. So it's still operating, it's still discharging at the, um, at the uh, 104, 103 amps here. Now the voltage will start to drop fast once it gets below three volts per cell. So that three volts per cell is 48 volts uh, overall, it's 16S. And so once it starts to get down to 47, it's, uh, it's a nice flat curve. The voltage will drop off very fast. Now we've got the first cell temperature at 60 as the maximum cell temperature there. That will be an alert, uh, but it won't actually stop the battery at the moment. Um, and we're running there now, the, as this voltage starts to drop, we're gonna watch that uh, current rise up uh, quite uh, rapidly. And uh, uh, we're at 61 now on the temperature. The uh, lower cell voltage is now dropped below three. And uh, so this gives you a good feeling that at the lowest level, uh, the voltage is going to be around 48. Now it's starting to drop. The current now is at 104. We're at, uh, starting to drop fairly fast now. And um, uh, this will now, uh, that current will start to rise, 105. And uh, it actually, the battery actually stops here because of current. That's what we're going to see in a minute. And uh, because the current goes over the 110 amp uh, limit for a period of time, there's 107. We're just a bit slow on uh, reducing it to keep that current down around the 100 amp mark. Um, and you can see now the cell voltages are down into the 28 line. There's 108 amps, 109. And uh, as soon as we hit the just past the 110, uh, then we're at two amp hours here, but we're still drawing the full um, uh, the full power coming out of it just hovering there now, 109, 110, 111. And, uh, uh, and there's a timer on this now running, there's 112. And uh, I think pretty much it's, uh, it's gonna stop any, any second now. There it is, it's stopped. So we've got there the high discharge current, we've got the low battery voltage, they're the two, the low voltage. So they're the, they're the alarms that have caused this to uh, stop. And, um, uh, and if we go in, we're going to go in and look at the actual details on the final uh, cell voltages here. Let's have a look and yeah, touch that. 
And so we've now got it blocking uh, discharge still, two amp hours, temperature 60, 62, but the cell voltages and going over the current was the reason why it stopped. Uh, I think that's an excellent result to show you how the uh, battery will send the CAN command to the inverter or to the motor, whatever device you're driving here. And then after that, there's still a little bit of capacity. How good's that?